great. Uh, you know, there was a lot of uncertainty when that coaching change happened, but obviously it turned out for the best for this football program. And uh, the energy and environment right here has been nothing short of amazing. So, uh, you know, I think we feel great. And the Iron Bowl is the Iron Bowl. There isn't a lot of rah-rah, a lot of speech that needs to be given done uh, for this football game. Going to the back, Johnny. Hey, Derek, same question I just asked Colby. Um, considering where this program was just a month ago, mm -hmm. could you pick a better person than Cadillac Williams for this interim head coach position? And just what does Cadillac mean to you personally? Uh, so I got asked kind of similar to the same question on uh, Saturday after the game, basically what I vouch for him. And I said I would do it a thousand times over. Uh, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, he, he's come in and, uh, you know, he, he can relate to this place, number one. Uh, he can relate to the player, number two, being in the position that we were in. And, you know, he can relate to the, thing, the things that we're trying to do in the future. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys have, have the aspiration to go and play in the National Football League. And he's done that. He knows what it takes. So um, that as well. And, um, you know, just to, the work ethic and things that he brings to this football program have been unmatched uh, in the past month. And uh, he means a lot to me. Um, me personally, I think we have a lot of correlation in our life. Uh, but, you know, that's on a different kind of level. But, uh, you know, he means a lot to me. I mean, we're brothers bonded by Auburn, number one. And, uh, you know, he means a lot to me just through this football program and the things he's done for me and this team here recently. Jason. <clears throat> Derek, Colby talked about creating havoc. You guys yeah. did that last year. And how, how big of a key is that Saturday going to Tuscaloosa for the defensive line? Huge. Uh, you know, they're, they have a prolific offense. Uh, you know, they have really good running back. They have good receivers all over the field. And obviously the quarterback himself, Bryce Young, uh, you know, Heisman Trophy winner, uh, possibly another candidate for this year. And he's been nothing sort of amazing in his career. So, uh, you know, it's going to be huge for us to get after the O-line and, uh, you know, try to come out and put our best foot forward. And, uh, I mean, like you said last year, um, you know, we wreaked havoc, and that's that's another opportunity that, that we get a chance to go do again. So, you know, we're looking forward to it. It's Iron Bowl. Thank you. Derek, Kobe said he felt like at this point y'all are just playing with house money, and, and that could be an advantage for y'all in this game to just be loose. What, what, what kind of advantage do you think? If you, you personally, that kind of mindset, what, what kind of advantage does that bring? Right, that's for sure. Um, lay it all on line. I mean, we win, we win. We get a ball game. We don't, you know, we fought for Auburn. Uh, you know, we have nothing to lose. And, I mean, like you said, we are playing with house money. We just go out and put our best foot forward and, you know, go out and, 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 and put ourselves in position to try to win this football game, be in a dog fight for 60 minutes because, I mean, that's what it takes. And the Iron Bowl, score don't matter, record don't matter, none of that matters. It's, it's about who who wants it more that day. And, uh, you know, the, I mean, like I said, the Iron Bowl is the best best football college rivalry, I mean, college football rivalry ever, I'm sorry. So um, to be able to have the opportunity to go out and play in that game with these guys is going to be good. Any boss? <clears throat> when you look back and saw that game and everything that happened, what would you say <coughs> You guys really started to put together as a defense. Uh, as far as what game? As far as, I mean, last week's game, I'm fine with Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so coming out, uh, you know, we did a few uncharacteristic things, like bust some coverages and, you know, be personal. I missed the back coming out of the backfield. And it was a little small thing here and there that we had to pick up on. We went in halftime, we made those adjustments. And we came out and just played dumb in the defense, uh, you know. And that's been kind of the statistic here the past uh, three weeks for us on the defense side of the bar. And we only plan to continue that this week. Anybody else? I have a really serious question. Mm. Do you call it dressing or stuffing? Dressing, for sure. <laughs> dressing. Uh, I mean, who, who calls it stuffing? I mean, I don't. <laughs> I call it stuffing. Nah, it's, it's definitely dressing. It's definitely dressing. It's a regional thing. Yeah, we're going to have one more remark. The uh, last year's game was pretty wild. Mm -hmm. Quadruple overtime. Yes, sir. What do you mean that you being such a big part of that game to win this one this year? It's huge. Uh, coming off a game like that where you felt like you let one slip away and have another opportunity to go out, and it, me personally, be my last college football game ever, and to go out and have an opportunity to play in a place that you haven't won since 2010 and go out with a football team like this and you have Cardinal Williams as your head coach, I mean, what better position would you want to be in uh, at this moment? So, uh, you know, it's going to be a great game, great atmosphere, great environment, and we're going to have an opportunity to go out and win a football game. So we can't have more than that. All right, thank you, Derek. Thanks, Appreciate Derek. it. Derek.